Hey, so it's been a while since we've done a Sonic Reacts, but nothing has come out, like, at all. Yeah, I've just been watching old episodes of Mr. Belvedere. Which is good, because today we're reviewing every single episode of Mr. Belvedere. Nobody wants that. Today we're reviewing the hit Broadway musical slash movie, Hamilton. I'm just glad we're finally reviewing something classy. It was like I was whisked away and dropped into the front row. Yeah, tell me about it. I watched it on the toilet. Overall, I was really impressed with Hamilton. Uh, seriously? Wow, uh, what was your favorite part? The writing? The music? The choreography? Nah, none of that. I never knew the Founding Fathers were all dope rappers. God damn it. I mean, I know America was founded 650,000 years ago, so I just figured a bunch of old white dudes started it. Boy, was I wrong. That dude Hercules Mulligan was like DMX. Y'all gonna make me lose my mind up in here, up in here. All right, there's a lot to unpack with everything you just said. They cast ethnically diverse actors to play those parts because the Founding Fathers were all old white dudes. It was symbolic. That doesn't sound right. You don't sound right. I will say the gunfights sucked though. Where was the slow-mo, the gun food, the flying doves? They should have got John Woo to direct this. This was a mistake doing this. And knowing you and talking to you ever is a mistake. No, it was cool. I learned a lot about how a bill becomes a law or whatever. Now let's get to my three-hour Belvedere review about the episode where Wesley's friend got AIDS. Did I hear my name? Sonic said AIDS. Tomato, tomato. What? We're reviewing him. While Hamilton the character is a progressive lion, it's not accurate to portray him as such. In fact, many of the problems we deal with in our country, unregulated capitalism and predatory bank lending, can be traced back to Hamilton's plan to reorganize the national debt during the United States' nascent years. Uh, sure, Hamilton wanted economic prosperity for all, but as we all know, it is no means certain that the forceful imposition of the mere institutional trappings of an advanced capitalist economy actually promotes economic growth. Yeah. I, Eggman, I, I didn't expect that. I guess I underestimated your- Plus, I would have grown three dicks so I could bone all three sisters at once. I think you mean two dicks. You already got the one. Sure, let's go with that. Wow, learning a lot today. Okay, Sonic, any last thoughts? My name is Sonic and I'm here to say that Mr. Belvedere once sat on his balls. Yep, Google it. Yeah, learn something about history for once. <laughs> Hiya, champ. How's it going? Well, I got AIDS, but other than that, I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Eggman. If you're not sick of my voice yet, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. It helps me build my hyper-killing machines. I promise I won't use them to kill most of you. <laughs>